Sancho Panza, Don Quixote's faithful companion, told him, Don't charge! They're only windmills. Ooh, he really thought the windmills were his enemies? <sighs> you know, I think Don Quixote needed glasses. I think he had lots of imagination. <laughs> imagination? He must have had more than that to charge at windmills thinking they were his enemies. No, you don't understand that story at all. <laughs> <sighs> Should I stop reading? Well, I've heard enough. Hello, everyone. Good morning, class. Good morning, Good morning Professor, Iris. Professor Iris. Good morning, Professor Iris. Oh, what were you reading? Oh, a fabulous story, The Life of Don Quixote. Hmm. It's mostly the unbelievable story of a nutcase who charges at windmills on horseback. Oh, I know that story very well. It's, it's wonderful. Hmm. It reminds me of my childhood when I lived next to a windmill. A real windmill? Oh, yes. I used to go there with my friends to watch the miller. Did you say miller? <laughs> Absolutely correct. A miller is the master of the mill, where they grind grain into flour. It's a fine craft, very rare these days, because most mills have been replaced by modern machines. Oh, you're lucky. I've never seen a real windmill. <laughs> Let's see if that windmill is still around. Ooh, it's beautiful. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can we visit it, Professor? Oh, say yes, say yes, <laughs> say yes! Well, <laughs> maybe. It, it seems abandoned. I'm sure we wouldn't bother anybody if we went. So, I propose that today we go on a picnic near the old windmill. Yay! Cheers for Professor Iris! <laughs> All right! Yippee! Oh, and we can invite Miss Principal and Mr. Plumo to join us! Excellent idea! I'll go call Miss Principal on the intercom right away. So what are we waiting for? We have to get ready! Come on! Mm. <laughs> Look at all the trees. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, this is it. We're here. <laughs> oh, Mr. Plumo, mm -hmm. you can put that picnic basket right down over there. <laughs> Professor Iris, this mm -hmm. place is marvelous. Mm -hmm. And we couldn't have chosen a better day for a picnic. <laughs> oh, oh, Professor Iris, oh, can I go visit the windmill? Please, can I, huh? <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> well, well, wait a minute. I'll, I'll come with you. <laughs> mm. uh, uh, me too. I think I'd like to see a windmill again. <laughs> oh, what an excellent idea. It will get the picnic ready and wait for you. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> wow. My. <laughs> Me. Oh, just like I remember. Mm. <laughs> oh. Look at all the cobwebs. Oh, my. It's so still. Oh, it's been a long time since anyone was in here. Oh, oh, don't ask me to clean up this place. It would take weeks. <laughs> <laughs> now, Professor Iris, hmm? what's this? Oh, that's the grindstone. You see, the wind makes this wheel turn, which turns the grindstone. The grindstone crushes the grain, and that makes flour. Oh. And what's that piece of wood there for? Huh? Oh, that's to stop everything from turning. Yes, and probably to prevent accidents. Mm. Hmm. Oh, I'd like to go visit the mill too. Oh, we'll go soon. <laughs> we have the whole day in front of us. Yes, have a little patience. Someone has to get the picnic ready. Mm. Oh, look what I found. Little nuts. Oh, I had door nuts. <laughs> but I didn't bring a nutcracker. <sighs> Ooh, I have an excellent idea. <laughs> oh, my, bless you. Oh, this place makes me sneeze. <laughs> oh, there's too much dust. I I'm, I'm leaving. Oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Professor Iris, it's so nice in here. Uh -huh. I'm really inside a windmill. Uh -huh. Oh, and that's what I've been looking for. Huh? Did you see the nuts I found? Huh? Huh? See? Maybe we can use the grindstone to crack them. <laughs> oh, well, uh, why not, Miss Principal? Uh, all we have to do is unlock everything. <laughs> mm. <laughs> 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 Yeah. What's wrong with you? Mm, it's dusty in there. <laughs> huh. oh. oh, my. Oh, look, it's working. The stone is moving. Huh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what was that? Oh, I think we may have a little problem outside. <gasps> <laughs> Oh, my. What happened? Well, we heard a noise, and then the propeller started to turn. It just got hit on the head. Well, I'm, I'm feeling much better now. Oh. Wind is blowing, the wood is squeaking, the wall is trembling, the dust is rising, wheels are spinning, time is circling, water's flowing, the mill is turning. In the afternoon haze, as I stand here and gaze, the memories it raises from my younger days, when I was smaller, we would see the miller, the wheat that we could find, we happily would grind. Making flour by the hour. We'd have bags and bags to fill. Our songs echoed in the tower. As we worked inside the mill. Inside the mill People from the village all depended on the mill A part of our heritage and a social thrill Watching the miller as the morning passed Everyone would offer to help him with this task Making flour by the hour Bags and bags to fill Our songs echoed in the tower As we worked inside the mill Inside the mill As we worked inside the mill You know, since we now have electricity, we hardly use windmills anymore. Well, I think that's very sad. Mm -hmm. I think windmills are much nicer than modern machines. Oh, but of course. That's why we keep windmills. For their beauty. Professor Iris, Miss <laughs> Principal, come quickly. Our friend Skeleton isn't doing well at all. He's charging the windmill. Oh, 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 my. Wait for me. Ah, ha. You have met your match, evil enemies. I'm going to get you, and I'm going to do you in like bags of flour. Ha. Oh, dear. I think he's taking after Don Cutie, Professor Iris. Oh, what imagination. Obviously, he's not himself. We have to get him to a doctor. Ooh, ooh, let's go. We'll get you to the doctor. <gasps> Piano Pancha, my faithful companion. Ooh. Let's combine our efforts and conquer this giant. <laughs> That's not a giant. It's a windmill. <laughs> I don't want to see this. <laughs> Ow. How are you feeling? Not too hurt? What happened? 
I'm confused. You thought you were Don Quixote and you charged the windmill. <laughs> and there you are. <laughs> All's well that ends well. <laughs> what a strange business. <laughs> well, can we have our picnic now? <laughs> well, excellent idea. But first, I think I'd better stop the windmill. <laughs> Oh, Professor, today was magnificent. Magnificent. <laughs> yes, it all turned out well. Hey, what book is that? You're not going to start again, are you? <laughs> You've seen where those stories lead. If you're looking for me, I am taking a nap. <laughs> well, he's going to be very quiet for a while. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for today. Bye de bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> Goodbye. See you soon. Watches and clocks. Ooh. What a beautiful, beautiful. Uh, what exactly is it? Well, it's a clock. You didn't take it from Miss Principal's office, did you? Of course not. This clock has been in my family for years. I brought it in today to show Professor Iris. Whoa! Do you see that big thing swinging backwards and forwards? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Good morning, class. Oh, Good morning, morning Professor, Professor Iris. Iris. Morning, Professor Iris. Oh, what a magnificent antique clock. <laughs> I brought it in from home to show you, Professor Iris. Ooh, I brought it in from home to show you, Professor Iris. <laughs> You're jealous. Jealous? Jealous. Me? Jealous? Not on your life. Now, now, no arguing. Professor Iris, have you seen the big ball swinging under the clock? <laughs> it's so funny. That part of the clock is called the pendulum. It makes the hands of the clock move. The hands tell us exactly what time it is. Oh, but doesn't it ever stop? It must get exhausted after a while. <laughs> of course not. Since time never stops, the pendulum must never stop. Otherwise, the clock no longer tells us the correct time. I thought we used watches to tell the time. Well, you're right. In fact, watches are like little miniature clocks we can attach to our wrists. That way, we always know what time it is. Yes, but if there's no pendulum, how does the watch work, huh? Hmm. Well, excellent question. As a matter of fact, there's a tiny spring mechanism inside the watch that takes the place of the pendulum. Simple, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Hmm. All of this has given me a wonderful idea. Why don't we talk about watches and clocks today? Yay! Yay! Professor Iris! Yay! <laughs> Professor Iris? Who invented watches? Hmm. Actually, you could say that the watch is the product of a long evolution. There you are. A watch without springs or a pendulum. Absolutely correct. This is a sundial. A long, long time ago, this is what people used to tell time. It changes with the movement of the sun. And do you know what this is? Oh, yes. I have one of those at home, too. Mm. It's an hourglass. Right. Even though the hourglass doesn't give us the exact time, it helps us count the time that goes by. Uh, professor, who invented time? Oh, that, my friend, is another story altogether. Professor Iris, what do we do if the pendulum stops? Sometimes, all we have to do is give it a little push, and it will start to move again. But if that doesn't work, we can call on a clockmaker. Clockmaker? Oh, what a nice job. Mm -hmm. mm, I love 
Blocks. <laughs> we'll be able to go any time we want. I don't know. I'm a little bit scared. Scared? Oh, come now. Well, this is a giant step for humankind. Mm, do you really think I should join you? Well, let's see. I oh, don't need that anymore. Where's that widget? Oh. <laughs> You ready? Ta da! <laughs> My famous time travel machine. With this, we can travel through time and visit any period in history that I choose. <laughs> what if it doesn't work? I'm not ready to get lost in time for the good of science. <laughs> well, as you wish. I guess you just don't have the true spirit of a clockmaker. Because every clockmaker's dream is to be able to travel through time. And to visit knights and dragons. And to see the Egyptians building their pyramids. Yeah, it's nice and all that. But what if you don't come back? That's just the chance we'll have to take. Let's see, um... Yeah, Whoa. it's ready. Whoa. Come on. <laughs> hey. Okay, uh, recalibrated, uh, flux capacitors fluxing, and the uh, widget is engaged. <laughs> there we are. We're all set to journey into the past. Somewhere. No, I'm already sorry I came. <laughs> well, it's done. <laughs> We are now traveling through time. <laughs> when are we going to stop? Tick tock, tick tock. Hours and moments just went by. Seconds and weeks, maybe a sigh, a month. A year, a century When does it stop? And when will it be? What day, what time Could it be now? We century Did we just see? We need to know And don't know how A watch could tell us Instantly Watch the clock tick tock And look at the numbers Watch the clock tick tock It's Easy to remember. Watch the clock tick tock and look at the numbers. Watch the clock tick tock. It's so easy to remember. 60 seconds in a minute. 60 minutes in an hour. 24 hours in a day. And 12 numbers on the clock. Time is like a stairway. Each step is like a second, whether climbing up or going down. The clock keeps track as we're gone and back. Watch the clock tick tock and look at the numbers. Watch the clock tick tock. It's easy to remember. Watch the clock tick tock and look at the numbers. Watch the clock tick tock. It's so easy to remember. And look at the numbers. Watch the clock tick tock. Watch the clock. Ta da! <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we are, safe and sound in 1201. What do you mean, 1201? Well, we've landed in the year. 1201. I'm pleased to announce to you that we are now in the Middle Ages. Cool. Yeah, I hadn't thought of that. Oh, it must be autumn. Let's go ask the knight who lives over there for some warmer clothes. Woo! Look at those big doors. Yes. <laughs> to tell you the truth. Huh? They do not inspire me with great confidence. Oh, 
Oh, I knew it! I knew it! I should never have come here with you! Now hurry! Let's get out of here! Oh, I'm going as fast as I can! Uh, hurry! Uh, hurry! Hurry! <laughs> We're off! We're off! Oh, and now where are we going? Oh, to another time! Oh, but the clock isn't working! I don't know where we're gonna land, or when. Oh, oh, we're in the jungle. Oh, I like this a lot better than castles with giants. I want to go back to the classroom, back to my little slippers and my little glass of orange juice. Oh, oh. Shh, we're being watched. People! Oh, they'll be able to help us. Um, I hope. Uh, I don't think they speak our language. Hi there. Hey. Oh, I don't like that look in their eye. Oh no! Uh, Not again! Uh, uh, the uh, the time machine! It's wrecked! It's ruined! It's not working! No! 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 Wake up! Wake up! What, what year is this? Where am I? You're right here in the classroom, and class is almost over. <laughs> I think you were having a dream. I think it was more like a nightmare. You were tossing and turning all over the place. Oh, yes, it's easy to fall asleep when you're staring at a swinging pendulum. That should teach you a lesson. Yes. Well, anyway, I'm very happy to be back. Oh, if you only knew what happened. Professor, Professor Ivy. <laughs> That's all the time we have for today. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> If they only knew. Goodbye. See you soon.